So here we'll take a look at some difference between block tags and inline tags. And block tags, I'll just bring this um, document over here so it describes it. Uh, block tags, or in this case block elements, they are going to create a new area of content. They have a carriage return, um, or they cause a carriage return. And these areas are on their own line. And also importantly is with cascading style sheets, you can set a width and a height to these various blocks of, of, of area that we've created with our elements. So some common block tags are the div block tag, uh, paragraph, h1, and li. And there's a bunch of others, but that's just some uh, common ones that you'll see that create a carriage return that you can establish as areas. The other type of tags we have are inline elements. And inline ele elements create an area of content but they're set in line. They're set on the same line with the rest of the content that it's next to. So they do not cause a carriage return. Now, generally, um, you cannot set width and height with the inline content. Um, although CSS3 is providing ways to add width and height to inline content, up until recently, you really, you really haven't been able to, and that's still probably not the most customary uh, strategy with working with inlines. So, so, so some example of inline tags are the strong tag, anchor, uh, emphasize, um, span, and image. And a lot of people forget that the image is an inline, not a block. So over here, um, I have examples of using the div tags. Note that divs are block elements. So these particular tags will cause a carriage return. So content one and content two, those that text, even though it's right next to each other, will appear on separate lines. So as you can see, they're on separate lines and there's areas created. Uh, Dreamweaver actually does us the, um, the benefit of showing these various areas. If I look at this in a regular browser, you won't see anything around it. That's just something that, that Dreamweaver has done for us so we know that we have created block elements. Let me just go ahead and show that in um, Firefox. I'll save that out. And in Firefox, you see, for example, that there are no uh, borders around our areas. But Dreamweaver does this the courtesy of showing that. So if I put this all on the same line, just to demonstrate that again, I know it's probably overemphasizing this, but I just want to make sure it's clear that these block elements will still retain the same. Nothing changes here. Uh, there's a character term between those, that, the, those two areas of content. Okay, now if I'm going to add a span, the span will actually not have a carriage return. So I have a span in here, and I'm going to nest the span uh, between these, this opening and closing div on line 10. And it's going to be right after the word content 2, the words content 2. I'll do span, and then I'll just say um, more content, and then closing span. To make it pretty clear, I'll go ahead and have a carriage return right here so we know that they're on separate lines. Okay. And so now we see that we have an opening div, content to, and then an opening span. So we're nesting an element within an element. And there we go. So we have just more content. So what's the purpose of this? Well, the purpose is you may want to create various areas for your layout, as we'll see in a little bit. Um, and then also there's going to be many times that within that area, you might want to format the code, maybe make it more bold, uh, uh, emphasize it, uh, you know, what have you in order to style that. But you don't want to have a carriage return, right? So when you want to emphasize or work with a specific area um, or content within an area, then you want to use an inline tag usually. Mm -hmm.